It's time for the Top 5, sponsored by the Fort Worth Convention and Visitors Bureau. Welcome back to the Ultimate Dallas Sports Show. Time now for the Top 5, and today, with the Oakland A's finishing their final game of the Coliseum earlier this week, we'll break down the Top 5 most devastating franchise moves in North American sports history. So, let's start it with number 5 here. The Quebec Nordiques, for those who do not know since it's hockey, Quebec was the second <laughs> smallest market in North American sports of the Big Four Pro franchise. What makes this relocation tough? Immediately after the franchise moves to Colorado, the Avalanche win the Stanley Cup and become one of the best teams of the late 90s, early 2000s. Stodd, we'll kick it off with you here. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think just, you know, you're talking taking hockey away from that Canadian city and that, you know, in that province and everything. That's devastating. That's a that's a country and it's a and it's a province that lives by um, that sport. So absolutely taking that away would be uh, was a devastating thing for sure. And and also again just seeing the immediacy of the championship the next year, kind of yes. like like Squidward looking out the window at SpongeBob playing in the distance. <laughs> uh, at number four, let's move on here. The SuperSonics leave Seattle for Oklahoma City. There isn't a championship in the Thunder's future, at least as long as Lucas still around. We think, but Seattle had a history: 1979 NBA championships, great atmosphere, iconic franchise leaving a supportive community that most still believe deserve to have basketball in that in that city. Patrick, your thoughts here. I am one who believes that Seattle deserves a basketball team, an, an NBA team. Um, just growing up, uh, not that I was a Seattle Seahawks fan, a Seattle Sonics fan, but I grew up watching guys like Gary Payton and yeah. Sean Kemp and Detlef Schrempf. If, if you don't <laughs> know that name, go look that name up, okay? Uh, and I remember just how gutted not only the, the city of Seattle, but Washington as a state was. To, to see their beloved Sonics move to Oklahoma City. And then, of course, the name changed to the Thunder. And I think it's, you know, no, you know, no shade to the Thunder, but I think it's a little bit karmic that you've not gotten a championship yet. Give the Sonics back uh, to Seattle. Sounds good to me. All right, at number three, we'll keep the color scheme this game, different sport. The A's abandon Oakland. We could go on and on about what the A's used to represent, the World Series, hell, even Moneyball, but the fact that they're the last of the three major teams out the door of that city with the Warriors and Raiders leaving earlier this decade, leaving Oakland now with nothing except for a soccer team that's begging them to leave the seats in the stands, uh, that's tough. Mike, what do you think? I mean, there's something to be said for the fact that it keeps happening to that city. Like, you're not do you're clearly you're not doing enough to keep these teams there. But the ownership group, at least in this case, felt a little bit more predatory than most. I think, oh, no doubt. Yeah. No, the ownership group is, like, is they, a disaster. They, and, they and, don't even have a plan in place. They have a schematic, I suppose, of a stadium yeah. in Vegas, but they're going to be playing games in Sacramento. Like, that's, they, they, they don't even necessarily have the relocation part figured out yet. They're just taking the, sit, the team and running. And, and again, that's my point. They, they, they're so desperate to leave Oakland and... Look at the attendance that they've had. Now, they're the, again, the ownership group carries a lot of blame for that, too. But there is something of a two-way street here. And the fans in Oakland didn't really seem to walk down the street very much. Well, that sounds like victim blaming to me. All right. At number two, <laughs> this one is pretty difficult. But the Dodgers and Giants leaving New York for California back in the 50s. There's a reason we say New York football Giants. Jackie Robinson never played in L.A., Baseball used to mean a lot more to America in general, so uprooting two proud New York franchises in a community that loved baseball just to move them all the way to California for the sake of expansion, that's tough. Saad, your thoughts here. Yeah, that, that's really tough, but also the prestige of those, or those organizations in particular. I mean, you know, and New York is a sports, is a sports state, sports city, whatever, however you want to call it, um, moving those over, and then the success that they've had over there um, in California is also really tough for them. All right, and rounding out the list at number one, the poster child for terrible relocations, Jim Ursay stealing the Colts in the dead of night. Iconic Mayflower moving vans, avoiding a legal battle with the city of Baltimore, literally stealing the equipment from the facilities. It's an awkward situation. Police escorts at the moment they reach the Indiana border. Uh, it was a mess. The franchise that had Johnny Unitas stolen away. Patrick, your thoughts here. I agree. Uh, just the de facto master class of how not to move an organization okay that i mean it's the equivalent of um you can't figure out how to break up with your girlfriend so you sneak out in the dead <laughs> of night with a <laughs> stick and a satchel on the back of the stick and you're creeping out like the pink panther and it was just uh, it was an unmitigated disaster and it will forever haunt both organizations oh, the mixing metaphor. of metaphors in there metaphor. was so great <laughs> uh michael leave this to you to round this out uh who'd i miss 
The one that jumped to mind as you were reading your number one was the inverse with the Browns leaving to go to Baltimore. True. That, that, that one jumps to mind for sure. And obviously it's, it's since come back around and the Browns exist again. Right. Um, but granted, not in the form that they used to be by uh, any stretch. No. Like, very different. Uh, yeah, no. I, I, th- uh, I think the Titans going to, like, the Oilers yeah. going to the Titans. Yeah. I'd be remiss not to mention the Dallas Stars because you take the, you take the Minnesota North Stars away from the state of hockey. And they come to Dallas and then win a Stanley Cup six years later. Uh, that's pretty heartbreaking for the state of hockey. I know they got the Wild, but it, I, I don't know. What, that, that's pretty heartbreaking for them. Just look at any time the Stars and Wild <laughs> play in the playoffs. Minnesota has not forgotten. I also throw one more in there, and I don't think this is in the top five, but it, it's just one of the, for me being a Braves fan, it's one of the funnier ones. Expo is leaving Montreal no, for I Washington. Agree. Mm. I agree, yeah. but without that, we wouldn't have the Nationals, and I wouldn't have a team to root for in 2019. So um, He's a Nationals you. guy, yeah. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. We got a World Series out of it. That's the important thing.